Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. Firstly, if you can hear my AC, I am so sorry. It is super loud, but it's hot. <laughs> and if I don't have it on, I'm gonna be up here sweating like a hog. Secondly, yes, I did the, what are these called? Boho braids. I almost blinked out on what this was called. I did the boho braids. I filmed it and everything, so if you're interested in that video and my techniques and the products that I use, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. This is about almost a week old. This is seven and a hair. It's a little frizzy, but it's, it's holding on, and we're gonna be taking this style out very soon. But today's video is going to be over luxury and natural hair products. Now, the word luxury is very subjective. Depending on who you ask, luxury products can be different brands, different things. And so I asked my followers on Instagram what brands they consider to be luxury brands. I jotted them down and a lot of these luxury brands, well I won't say a lot, but some of these luxury brands I have tried myself. Some of them I haven't tried or hadn't, hadn't even heard of. But I'm gonna let y'all know out of the luxury brands that I've tried what I think you should actually pick up the products that I like. Now, are they necessarily worth the price? I don't know, some of these are a little bit steep, but the, some of these products that are a little bit steep, I do like, so I'm not even I'm not even gonna hold you. So if you can get them at a discounted price, you know, during Sephora sale or Ulta sale or the brand sale, if they do have a sale, I would definitely recommend getting it during that time. But some of the responses that I got were hilarious because I was asking for specific brands and a lot of people are saying anything that's above $20 is considered luxury and I feel you. I feel you on that. But before we get into these luxury products and whether they are worth giving a try, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and hop into today's video. Okay, the first brand we're gonna get into is probably the most expensive brand that I have tried and that is Briogeo. I've tried two different deep conditioners from them. I first tried the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, and I've also tried the Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. Now, I think these are around the $38 mark, and they're only eight ounce bottles, <laughs> which, Whew, once you get into the 30s, I mean, y'all was saying $20 is, is expensive. This is almost hitting 40s, but I do like both of these deep conditioners. I've actually finished this deep conditioner up completely, and y'all will see it in an empties video. But it was super moisturizing on my hair. I had heard mixed reviews on this deep conditioner, and usually when there's mixed reviews, I lean more towards on the side of not liking something. And I'm not saying that like off the bat, I just think that I'm not gonna like it. It's just that when I actually use it, I don't like it. And so I, whenever <laughs> there's mixed reviews, I end up most of the time on that side, but I ended up on the other side, and I really do like this. It smells really good super moisturizing on my hair. I know people say that they wash this out and it feels like nothing on their hair, but it worked on my hair. And then the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner is basically like your protein moisture balancing deep conditioner. It was moisturizing, but it also felt a little bit strengthening as well. So I really like both of these. Now, would I just go out and buy these regular price? No, I would not. I definitely would have to pick these up during some sort of sale, save some sort of coin, cents, whatever on this but I do like these. These are the only two products from Briojo that I have tried. I've been contemplating to get the Curl Charisma line, which is their line that is spe specifically geared towards curly hair, natural hair, but I've heard mixed reviews on that as well. I know Candid Kinks likes some of the products from there. Um, I think she likes the custard, but I don't know y'all. I'm I'm very picky about my stylers, very picky about my gels. Um, so I don't know. But may, maybe we'll try it out. 
Let me know if y'all have tried the Curl Curds Malign from Briogeo. Let me know if you like it or not, what products you recommend me picking up, or if you're like, no, just, just stay away from it. So the next brand that I wanna to talk to y'all about is near and dear to my heart, and that is Adjua Beauty. I have tried every single product that Adjua Beauty has put out. They don't have a super large selection. They have basically two collections. One is more geared towards moisture, that's their Bail Mint line. And then they also have their Blue Tansy line, which is more towards damaged hair, heat styled hair. Uh, basically, it's gonna have your protein. I recommend every single product from Adjua Beauty. I love all of their products. If you wanna know specifics that I think you really, really should get if you don't wanna try all products from both of the collections, definitely get the two deep conditioners. We have from the Bailment line, the Bailment Deep Conditioning Treatment. Love this, super moisturizing. And then we also have the Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. This is thick, thick, but it is moisturizing, but also has that protein moisture balance. Really love this. I also recommend what I don't have in my stash right now that I've gone through so many bottles of and I'm just waiting to get through some other items in my stash before purchasing it is their curl defining cream that thing is so freaking good you want to talk about shine you want to talk about definition you want to talk about moisture chef's kiss and then my my absolute favorite from the Bail Mint collection also is their leave-in conditioning styler I love this this is Probably my number one leave-in conditioner. My hair just feels so moisturized. It feels like butter. It's just amazing. Get you some Agile Beauty. Like I said, I have tried all their products and recommend all of their products. Also, to kind of put this in perspective for you all who think that Agile is super expensive, which I understand, but she gives you a lot of products. So this deep conditioner in particular is 16 ounces and it's $39 while on the other hand this Briogeo deep conditioner is $38 but is eight ounces so you basically get double the product for the same amount of money I'm not saying Adjua is cheap by any means but compared to some other brands it is on the more affordable side if that makes sense so just wanted to put that in perspective for you all all right we're gonna get into curl smith next and y'all know that curl smith curl smith didn't come in swinging like i thought she would i haven't tried a lot of their products i've tried you know a handful of products and I know they have um, some different lines. I wanna say maybe like three or four different lines, five lines. I've tried a few of the lines. So let's first start off with the things that I do like. The product that I really do love that I don't have right now because I ran out of it and I need to repurchase, that is the Curl Bond Rehab Solve. The thing is, amazing i think it's 28 dollars for eight fluent ounces if i'm not mistaken but i love that as a bond reconstructor i love to use that as a pre-poo to me it doesn't have like a lot of slip as much as i would like for it to but the way it makes my curls feel the way that it defines my curls the way that it really just kind of like gives my curls an extra boost. I love it. Something that I do like, you don't necessarily have to have this, but the multitasking conditioner, I do like this. You can use this as like a leave-in, a rinse out, or a deep conditioner. It was pretty good for a deep conditioner. It has tons of slip, but I think I prefer it as a leave-in conditioner. It gives me great moisture. Now, that orange line, which I think is their moisture line, the products that I've tried from that line, I'm not the biggest fan of. So I've tried the co-wash and the co-wash kind of felt like nothing on my hair. Until I rinsed out my hair, my hair felt like pretty good, but I just have so many other co-washes that I love that feel like something as soon as I apply it to my hair that clean my hair. My hair didn't really feel clean from that co-wash, so that's something that I really 
just do not care for. Also their deep conditioner, I think it's their double cream deep conditioner or something like that. It's from the orange line, the moisture line. And that one, it's just too thick. If they were to thin it out a little bit, I would be willing to retry it. But it's so thick that I had to put up a fight in order to, you know, distribute it throughout my hair. And the moisture for me wasn't where I expected it to be. So that, I don't really care for. And then, Probably one of the worst products that I've tried in my whole natural hair journey is the Curl Defining Souffle. That thing is so freaking hot and glycerin that my hair had no chance. There is no definition, no nothing. And I'm talking about even before I stepped out the house. Sometimes when I use products that are high in glycerin, I'm okay when I take down my style. As soon as I go outside, my hair's an afro. This didn't even make it past the takedown okay that oh no it's a no and it has like 4.4 stars on ulta.com and i'm just trying to figure out how like mm -mm. so those are my thoughts on curl smith i have because i'm trying to find another styler or whatever i did pick up the hydro style flexi jelly i believe i saw dominique dakers here on youtube try this out and her curls look bomb so hopefully i can get to this during my kind of like summer wash and goes and let y'all know how this works for me this is part of their scalp recipe line on um a scale of one to ten the hold is seven so we'll see and then there's also another gel from this purple line what is this the strength recipe line that i'm also intrigued to try but i don't know curl smith has kind of left like a sour taste in my mouth so i'm like hesitant to try some of these products next we're gonna get into olaplex okay and y'all know that i have tried the olaplex hair perfector number three and it is very reminiscent of the curl smith curl bond rehab solve it is a bond reconstructor but i don't know i've used this now two or three times and i can see a little bit of a difference from the curl smith version of this i guess curl smith it does define my curls more but i feel like this kind of just strengthens my hair um reconstructs the bonds in my hair a little bit better but this thing is expensive it's 3.3 fluid ounces for like 28 dollars crazy i know but if you can get this on sale in fact i think olaplex does like a limited edition version that i want to get the ounces correct so let me find it really quickly okay so they do have a limited edition that comes out typically around the holidays that is 8.5 fluid ounces almost three times this size for 60 dollars. so you get almost three times the product for just 30 more dollars basically 32 more dollars i think that is a better deal now sephora typically has that around like november december during the sales but i did find the 8.5 fluid ounce on nordstrom.com so in addition to the rest of the products that i'm talking about i will link them down below but i'll also link this 8.5 fluid ounce down below in the description box just in case you're curious and want to check it out. I also picked up the Olaplex Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. This is the number zero. And it's basically a spray that you use in conjunction with the number three. So you'll spray this on first and then you go in with the number three. And I noticed that I did use less product that way. I don't know, I used, I had to use a lot of this to saturate my hair, I felt like. So I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this. I've only tried this once, so I have to keep using it. But in my Olaplex video, y'all were telling me that I should try this in, com in combination with the number three. And a lot of y'all were saying that I was using the product wrong, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, <laughs> so those are my thoughts. And then I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to mention that I picked up the Olaplex and number five bond maintenance conditioner. I was going to pick up, I forgot what number it was, their like deep conditioner, but it had silicones in it, I think. And something else that 
I don't know, I wasn't so sure about the ingredients, and so I was like, okay, let's look at the ingredients of the conditioner, and this looks pretty good, and I think I might just use this as a pre-poo as well to um, just go in and detangle my hair. I know it was rambling a little bit, but basically, I do like the Olaplex number three and definitely recommend you trying it. As for the other two, TBD, I'll let y'all know in future videos whether I think these products are something that y'all should pick up. Next, let's get into the brand bread. So the one item that I really do like and it's all <laughs> bent up, this is their um, mud mass treatment. So it's basically, kind of a combination of my two favorite things a detox like a clay detox and a pre-poo i love this thing it is so good now yes it is more on the expensive side could i make my own detox i absolutely can but am i going to not really unless it's my like bentonite clay detox then yes but other than that i'm not a diy girl so i will pay money for a mud mask or clay mask whatever you want to call it but really do like this um the only thing i don't care for is the packaging you can see it's like all bent up or whatever but i do highly recommend this i do enjoy their scalp serum as well to kind of just soothe my scalp especially when i have a protective style in and then the other product that i've tried from them is their hair cream now the hair cream I like it, but I don't think you necessarily have to run out and grab this. There's other hair creams that I like better than this that are more affordable than this. Um, this is also like a, a leave-in slash hair cream styler. So it's like a multi-purpose thing. The packaging is real cute, but this is more of like a like, not a you gotta have. And then there's two more products that I do have in my stash currently that I have not tried yet. That's the shampoo. I've heard really great things about the shampoo. Haven't tried it yet, but I will let y'all know. Y'all know I'm, <laughs> even when I hear great things, I'm a little hesitant on trying shampoos out. But once I do, I will definitely let y'all know. And also the deep conditioner. I have the deep conditioner as well. And I'll let y'all know my thoughts on that and whether you should um, purchase it or not in a video or empties or something. I'll let y'all know. The next brand that y'all mentioned that you considered luxury is Pattern. Pattern was a big flop for me. Uh, there's really no products that I love from Pattern. I have not tried like their wash day products, like their shampoo and their conditioners. I haven't tried those. I When they first came out, I didn't hear the greatest things about those for women who have a type four natural hair. So if the girlies don't like it, I'm not gonna like it either. I'm not even gonna waste my time, so I didn't. I have tried more of like the styling products. So the leave-in, Mm -mm. And I know they got different levels. It's kind of confusing. So they have levels for like wavy hair, curly hair, kinky hair. I always grab the kinky, coily like products or whatever. The kinky, coily leave-in, oh my gosh, that thing was awful. My hair did not like it at all. It just sat on my hair, didn't penetrate. I just, mm -mm, that's a no for me. The gel, the Stronghold gel. I know they have like a soft hold gel or something. I'd never tried that, but the Stronghold gel, it was just very drying to my hair. I don't always use the most moisturizing gels, but that gel was super drying on my hair. The only thing that I kind of like was the styling cream. The styling cream was pretty good, but again, I have other styling creams that I love so much better that are more affordable. So like Curl Smith Pattern has kind of less a sour taste in my mouth. They do have a treatment mask, which I think that's a deep conditioner that's fairly new that I have not tried out yet. I've heard good things about it, but like I said, once a brand leaves a sour taste in my mouth, it's very hard for me to like revisit it. They also have the Scalp Serum Transition Mask, which I think is kind of like a pre-poo. I know Sable from Curls of CPA, she really likes that. Or am I getting them confused? Basically, I just know there's, there's recent products that people like that I haven't tried out. They also came out with a new mousse 
that also looks really bomb. I've heard great things about it, but I don't know if I'm gonna try it. Oh, I almost forgot that literally a couple of days ago they dropped their like detangling nectar, which I think is like a pre-poo to help detangle your hair. So they've come out with some new products that do intrigue me just a little bit, but I don't know, we'll see. And then the very last luxury brand that was mentioned that I actually have tried, it is not a natural hair product, but more so a tool, and that is the Dyson. And that thing, I feel like, is worth it, in my opinion. It dries my hair so fast. Now, does it make my hair straighter when I blow it out? Not necessarily. For me, it's the time it takes to do my hair. It's just so quick. The air that it blows out is super strong. And so your hair is gonna get dry very, very quickly. And I love it. I had tried it on one or two blowouts back in like the fall and winter. And now that it's wash and go season and I've been doing my wash and goes, I've been diffusing my roots with it. And I love it. I love the Dyson. I definitely think that it's worth the money, even for those of you who don't do blowouts a lot. If you do wash and goes and you diffuse your wash and goes, this thing will help save time for sure. Now there are some other brands that were mentioned. Oedad, I think I'm saying that right. I've been wanting to try their line that's geared towards curly, kinky hair, coily hair. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but recently, I don't know if it was last year or this year, but they kind of like upgraded the packaging, but I've also heard that they also changed the formulas. And basically the older formula people really did like, um, especially girls with type four hair, they really did like. But then now that they did the upgrade of the packaging. It seems like they may have changed the formula, correct me if I'm wrong, and the girls aren't liking the formula as much. I was gonna 100% buy some weed ad, and then when I read the comments and people are saying that they've noticed like a formula change or that it doesn't perform the same in their hair, I'm kinda like, mm, I don't know. Then Oribe, y'all mentioned Oribe, and I think I'm saying y'all these names, forgive me i looked it up their products are ridiculous they're like the louis vuitton the christian dior the east saint laurent the chanel of natural hair products i ain't trying them mm -mm. like I, that's where i draw the line amina's bond repair someone suggested that i've never heard of that before so i need to look into that and see if that's something that i would be interested in amika soul food deep conditioner again something that i've never heard of that i need to look up living proof now i've heard of living proof but mainly like white girls <laughs> using li living proof or black women that have relaxers using living proof Okay, so I think I've seen the Glam Twins use Living Proof, but they got like type three hair and I got type four hair, so I don't know about that. Aveda, I've also seen the Glam Twins use them. So I don't know, any of the brands that I've named that I haven't tried, if you've tried them and you like them, let us know. Even if you don't like them, let us know too, so that way we know to save our money. But that is it for all of the luxury natural hair products that I've tried, my thoughts on them, whether I think you should try them out if you're curious or whether you should just leave them alone and they're not even worth the money, okay? So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely leave some comments, some questions down below. Let's have a chat about these luxury natural hair brands. And if I miss any brands that y'all consider luxury natural hair brands, definitely let us know down below in the comment section. I will try to link these products as well, just in case you do want to check them out. But again, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!